So hydrocarbons and hydrocarbon derivatives. Mentioned this earlier, a hydrocarbon is a compound that contains only carbon and hydrogen. Carbon and hydrogen. So what if it's carbon, hydrogen, and something else? Then we call it a hydrocarbon derivative. So it's a hydrocarbon maybe with something else added. These are typically elements like sulfur, oxygen, chlorine, bromine, um, nitrogen the other non-metal elements close to carbon over there in the periodic table. So we've got hydrocarbons and hydrocarbon derivatives, and then we can divide hydrocarbons into two different categories, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated is a word that means full. So a saturated hydrocarbon has all of its carbon-carbon bonds being single bonds. And this, like a lot of terms, came from the history of how we figured things out. Um, scientists, long, long time ago, I don't remember when, because that's more history and that's not really my thing. I don't like memorizing dates, and I won't mem make you memorize dates either. Um, the saturated hydrocarbons, there, there are some that are unsaturated, and you can add hydrogen to them, and they will absorb, they will take in more hydrogen through chemical reaction. There are others that you cannot put more hydrogen into, and those are called saturated hydrocarbons because they're full. They're full of hydrogen. And some of this is going to just make a little more sense as we go along, but if it's saturated, it's going to have only single bonds. So saturated hydrocarbons have all single bonds between the carbon atoms. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are going to have one or more multiple bonds could be double bonds, triple bonds, could be both. But if it has even one double bond, it's considered an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So here's a diagram showing this. Diagrams are always nice. So here we have organic compounds. These include hydrocarbons and their derivatives. So here are the derivatives, and we're going to be talking about these, well, See, these chapter numbers are wrong. That's probably 2 through 5. I think we have to subtract 12 from all of these numbers. It's really kind of lame, if you ask me. Hydrocarbon derivatives, um, these have carbon, hydrogen, and at least one other element. And then there's the hydrocarbons, only carbon and hydrogen. And these are divided into saturated hydrocarbons, which have single bonds. Single bonds and the unsaturated ones are where they have multiple bonds. Multiple bonds meaning not more than one single bond, but meaning double, triple bonds, things like that. So this is kind of a big picture.